How to Use Make with Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.375.2. Attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent that has Make installed on it. There's a sample repository with this video. The link to that repository is down in the description. So how did I install Make on the agent? In my case, my agent is an Alma Linux 8 based agent, so I just used DNF install make. The version that was installed was version 4.2.1. However, the latest version of make is 4.4, but that's not available within the package manager. So if I wanted to use 4.4, I would have to go and install that manually. For this example, we're just gonna be sticking with 4.2.1. Let's go ahead and review our sample repository. This repository is pretty straightforward. A Jenkins file and a make file. That's all we need. So let's first take a look at our make file. It's a simple hello target that then is echoing out hello world. If we go over and take a look at our Jenkins file, our Jenkins file similarly is simple. In the first stage, we're making sure that make is installed. So we're saying make dash dash version. And then in the second stage, we're just going to run make. So let's go over to our controller. I already have the make job set up pointing at that repository and Jenkins file. So let's go ahead and click on build now and let's watch what happens. If we take a look at the output of our console, what we'll see is make version is 4.2.1, which is what we expected based on installing make using our package manager. And then we run make and from there it echoes out hello world. But what if I wanted to add another target to my make file? Well, let's go in and let's modify our make file. So we'll go to the make file, we'll edit this. We had hello, so let's create a goodbye. We'll tab over because make needs tabs in order to understand what's going on. And I'm going to say echo goodbye. Let's go ahead and save this and let's go run our job one more time. So when we click on make and click on build now, what we're gonna see from our output is still only hello because that's the first item in the make file. What I want is I want to run all of my targets all at once. So let's go back and modify our make file one more time. And I'm going to add in an all target that's going to run hello and goodbye. So now we have an all, a hello, and a goodbye. Let's click on commit changes. Let's go back over to our controller. Let's run our job one more time. And from the output of three, what we're going to see is that we have hello world and we also have goodbye. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.